Hello! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing this gordica? I was gonna say gorda instead of gorga with the G. I was gonna say it with the D. Because a friend of mine the other day, she was like, why do you say gorda day, like a fat day? And I'm like, I don't, I say gorga, like gorgeous. Anyways, guys, how are you guys doing this gorgeous day? Today, I'm so excited because today we're gonna be doing a I bought everything from video and I am so excited because I bought everything from Catrice this time. I did a video doing Essence and you guys seemed to really enjoy it. And I remember it's like a while back, I was like, do you guys want to see a video on Catrice and Essence? And you guys said yes. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do it. I did it of Essence and now I got all my Catrice stuff in the mail. I just bought it from their website. I was like having a hard time finding Catrice other than on Catrice's website. I thought it was like in stores, but I'm so wrong. It's not. I thought it was in like CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, whatever it might be, drugstore. It's now, it's now in the hair. I'm also on the pair list, I just realized. Huh. I will say they actually don't have a ton of makeup. I was actually surprised. I thought they had more. Like I thought they had like tons and tons and tons of different products, but they have like a, a pretty decent range, but it's not like a huge amount. They're big, but I thought they were bigger. That's what she said. And honestly, everything's so fairly priced with Catrice, just like it was with Essence. Some of the Essence stuff got me together. I was living the fantasy. Hello? But anyways, guys, that's what today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, Please fucking watch it and you'll do with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when I just buy up the whole store, if you guys like the gays. I knew there was something off about you. You're gay. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but let's go and get started on our full face of Catrice, baby. I bought it all here. <laughs> do they not give me a primer? <laughs> They didn't give me a primer. I bought a primer and they didn't give me my primer. Well, that's mistake number one. So let's just, let me just prime myself. My God. Priming for me is important though. Like I have to prime. You know, I'm a man. I'm a male. I'm a man. I'm a he. I know, shocker. And I have big pores. I do. This is the Dr. Brandt Backlight Primer. I bought this in like an epoxy charm a while ago and I actually really like it. <laughs> and I've used it a ton. Okay. Primed and we're ready to be a bitch. Okay, so this thing the one thing I did have that I have actually tried from Catrice was this It's the only thing I've tried. This is the uh, true skin hydrating foundation long wear hyaluronic acid and the shade neutral for porcelain. I Actually really like this foundation. I think it's so nice. I think Tati puts me onto this I feel like it was Tati that got me wanting to try this and she got me together. She did bitch It's been a while Oh my god, I forgot how liquidy it is. Holy shit! Quickly, quickly, quickly. I think, honestly, this truly is one of the prettiest foundations like at a drugstore price. Shade-wise, I feel like I can go a little darker, but here we are. I think the coverage is so nice too. Like, it gives you a nice medium buildable coverage. It is long wear. It does give you a nice like glow to the skin. This really does truly to me in my personal humble opinion, it rivals high-end foundations. Like with the high-end price point, I really do think so because it travels nicely on the skin. It blends out perfectly and the coverage is really nice and it gives you a bit of a glow. It's hydrating, you know? You know how some foundations will like be glowy and they last you about four hours max and you look like shit? This is not like that. This actually lasts you a good amount of time, like much longer than that. Does that look fucking nice? I'm using my Laura Lee Los Angeles brush. L11. I wish I could pump this out, dude. This is so annoying. I like to apply with the brush and then make sure I pounce over with the beauty blender to make sure there's no, you know, Brush strokes. Can you believe we're already in February? What in God's green earth, you guys? What in the tarnation? I felt like January lasted a long ass time, but we're already in February, so it's like this weird juxtaposition in my mind. Don't get it. Don't fucking get it. Catrice has a shape and defined contour stick, and we're gonna try this bad bitch out in the shade light. Okay. Okay, it's not the... Hmm. It's not the creamiest stick I've ever tried. Oh, but the blendability on the face, it just made up for it. You scared me though. You did. I feel like it doesn't go on like super creamy, but the way it blends, bitch, it blends like a dream. Look at this. Watch when I pounce it in with like a, a kabuki. Look how it just, uh, hello. Hi. That usually doesn't happen. I feel like in my, in my mind, like the things I've tried in the past, you usually don't get a formula that goes on a little drier. Like it doesn't go on like super creamy. That blends super easily. It's usually like, you get a formula that goes on super easily and it blends super easily. It's usually kind of like the emollients in it, the oils in it, whatever it might be. So I'm a little surprised that it blended so quickly. Patrice, y'all got me. 
You scared me though. Who was scared? And then we also have a like contour like highlight stick version. I'm not even really into the highlight for, for like no. Neutral ivory concealer. Oh, it's super liquidy. It's a little yellow. Oh, it's so thin. You guys, like the formulation is super, super thin. Because if this is nice, I'm gonna have to buy my shade. Like I'm gonna have to buy it in my shade because the way that's traveling is giving, it's giving. And look how easily that blended. Coverage wise, I would say it's like a nice medium coverage. I would not say it's full coverage. High coverage concealer. Okay, yeah, I would see that. Nice medium coverage. I wonder how it creases. Let me go ahead and put on some concealer on the rest of my face. This is also like one of the liquidiest, like travel friendly concealers I've ever used. With good coverage though, gives a nice medium coverage. Also, my, my under eyes haven't like really creased that much, like a little bit here, but it always creases there, but not that bad. I mean, I'm not surprised that I, I really like it because I really like the foundation, but I just haven't tried the concealer before, so I am very impressed. I feel like this would be really hydrating too, under the eyes, because it is so thin. I think I'm more impressed with the concealer than I am with the foundation. It's phone time. I just want to show you guys what it looks like on the phone as well, up close. Doesn't look like very hydrated under my eyes. Doesn't crease super easily. I mean, it's a little bit. Hello. I still have creasy under eyes, but I feel like it looks super healthy. Gives great coverage. I'm impressed. Anyways, you guys, honestly, concealer wise, I'm impressed. And I think the coverage is really nice. You can build it up to nice full coverage, I feel. And I think it gives you a nice glowy finish as well. Not creasing super easily. I crease naturally very quickly, so I know if something doesn't crease super fast, then I'm like, oh, this is like pretty crease resistant. I'm gonna take the Baking and Setting Loose Powder. This is the Mattifying Water Resistant Second Skin Effect HD Powder by Catrice. Look at the cute little packaging. Kind of reminds me of the um, Huda Beauty ones. Oh, sure does. Ooh. If it's an HD, I'm a little scared because HD powders usually give flashback, like heavy, 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 but look fantastic. This is supposed to be a baking and setting powder, so let's just go ahead and put some on here and we'll bake with it after. Does look smoothing, I will say it definitely is smoothing looking. But I don't really like the effect of powders like this. Like I'm not a HD powder kind of girl, unless you're using obviously like the smallest, babiest amount. But this is not just an HD setting powder, it's, just, it's a baking powder, so you're allowed and could use a lot more. So I was like, oh, I might be using it wrong. I'm using too much. Baby, it's a baking powder. It smells just like the Makeup Forever HD one, by the way. If you guys like that one, it could be a dupe. You might really enjoy it. <sighs> Can't even breathe, it's too thin. I don't know, I always feel like powders like this just give me a really intense white cast, and I feel like it just looks weird. It's giving Casper the friendly ghost. Come on, Casper, we gotta go out and scare people. I look jarred in the Sahara Desert. You know what? It's not for me. HD powder isn't for me and that is okay. Let's try the Sun Lover Glow Bronzer. It's like a nice baked bronzer. This is the only bronzer that they had on the website, by the way. This is the only one I only saw this one color. So again, this is what I was talking about, like kind of surprised about like the things on the site because it was literally this one bronzer and there was like one blush. I was so confused. Very warm. Very pretty effect. It gives you like that mineralized skin finish effect. It's a mineralized powder. And I think it looks very... Nice. I think it's a little orange for me though. Not orange necessarily, just I feel like it's a little warm for my complexion. I don't know. You know how I should you know how I should have put this foundation on? With the Meredith technique on TikTok that she like puts it on her hands and goes like this. No, I'm just kidding. That would kill me. That would kill me. I would it would be go against everything I believe in in love. I'm just kidding, I love Meredith. I look so fucking powdery, it's not even funny. <gasps> Let me show you guys how powdery I like. You guys are me spooked. Look how powdery I look, you guys. Look at my under eye. Look how powdery and dry look and the sides of my nose don't know what the fuck's going on there i wish i could tell you what's happening on my nose right now but i don't know i'm scared as well we're all scared here i don't know why the fuck it's breaking up on my nose so bad okay we're gonna have to move on because honestly i'm just gonna get upset let's take the blush this is the blooming hibiscus it looked so nice and it kind of looked like a, a nars like orgasm dupe which is why i was like i want to try this out and see what we think that is beautiful. No, this is actually, actually a dupe for the NARS orgasm. Cause it's a pink with a golden shift to it, but this is a baked one. So I actually think this is, I might, I might have to say this is actually even better than NARS orgasm because NARS orgasm to me, in the pan, by the way, I'm talking about in pan, I'm not saying in liquid or in stick, to me is a little hard to use cause it's pressed so difficultly. And I feel like the glitter reflex are a little bit strong. These are so subtle and it gives you like a sheen to the skin. Ooh, <laughs> bitch, I'm impressed. Made in Italy, blooming hibiscus. Look how like thin and lightweight that is. Are you choking? Look at that thinness. So you think I'm skinny? 
I really like it. Okay, moving on to the highlighter. This is the More Than Glow highlighter. This is the only lighter, highlighter they had on the website. Again, this is what I'm talking about. There was just like not a ton of options. If you have other products that are from Catrice, that I don't have here, please tell me. Because I'm like, am I on crack? I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter. Let's swatch it first, I'm curious. Ooh, it feels amazing. Perra. Okay, no, like, I don't wanna be that dramatic beauty guru that's like, <laughs> with highlighter and be like, holy shit. I will say I'm just surprised because I didn't expect that from this pan. Because it's, again, it's not like a baked formula. Are you fucking serious? Like, I'm shocked. By the way, this is the shade Supreme Rose Beam. That is wild to me, like how intense that is. And it's not giving me like a bad white cast. It's a little bit like, because it's a lighter shade, it's giving me a little bit of a cast, but not a lot. It's a strong highlighter, so it's gonna obviously emphasize texture a little bit more than usual. This is one of those highlighters, like if you have texture on the skin, it's a stronger one, it has a lot of white to it, a lot of reflect to it. It's gonna emphasize texture. Just be aware of that. If you have a clear skin, and or you don't give a fuck about your texture showing with highlighters, as you shouldn't, I think you'll live. Catrice, what in the fucking hell? Where has this been? And where has this been? Like, the powders, the powders are slinging me to, other than the HD powder, I'm so sorry, you're flat. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera. There was no brow products from the website that I could find. And I'll be back to do the eyes together with you. Oh, first, you know what? Let me mist first. I'm looking so powdery, it's actually spooky. Mm. Help me. It has a little bit of a glow inside the bottle. I like this. I'm gonna just pray that we look decent with this and I'll be right back. Just kidding, I completely forgot I have this. This is the Lift and Laminate Catrice Super Glue Brow Styling Gel. Okay, the name of this, the way this looks, is truly like, like please don't fucking let me down, dude. Like for some reason this is just giving me life. Like the way it looks, it looks so like industrial and strong. So we're gonna go against the grain, thick, very goopy. It's giving me like, super gel. It's very goopy, very thick. Let's see, is it strong though? That's the question, is it strong? Cause it just makes my brows look really wet. Huh, it's definitely not staying up. Like I thought I was gonna actually laminate my brows cause it was giving like lamination tease. You guys, it was cock teasing me for real, lamination teasing me. It's a, it's a strong brow gel. I don't know, I guess I was just expecting more since it said it was more. Super glue. Right, right. Right, 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 right. Okay, now I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows are, you know, there's something. So when I added more of the brow glue to like kind of laminate it down, it like kind of all lifted away. It was very confusing and I definitely would not recommend unless you're using it as like a complete, just like finisher brow gel. That's how I did on this side and I feel like it looks better. I filled in a little bit with a brow pencil and I used it as a finisher, it looks okay. Still not that strong. And then this one I feel like completely lifted off my foundation from the top. Like it looks like low key a mess. If you guys have that brow gel and you would really enjoy it and you really like it, let me know in the comments below like how you like to use it to make it work for you because I'm confused. I am, I am. Okay guys, so we have eyeshadow next. We have the Catrice Sandy Days eyeshadow palette which just looked very beautiful. Like I just thought the color story was really pretty, very nice, neutral, chill vibes. And then we also have this cute little mother this is the five in a box mini eyeshadow palette. Are you joking right now? Is this not giving you Natasha Denona? I feel like I'm gonna jump back and forth between these palettes. I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna swatch this golden shade. Fucking fire. The white metallic one. Really strong, very nice. Smooth feeling, but a little, little sheerer when it comes to the mattes. Shimmer's nice, mattes, I'm a little scared. Bigger palette mattes feel a lot better and more pigmented and have more base to them. The problem is that there's like no dark deepening shade in this. Like the only matte shades in this palette are this one, this one, and this one. Oh, that one, I can't. I'm backwards. We need to work on the color story. We have to, but look at that fucking shit. Holy shit, they're a little dry and they're a little bit on the chunkier, thicker side. I'm gonna use sandstone for sure because I'm curious to see how it looks on the actual eye, but let's go ahead and put some mattes on, the matte shadows on. We're gonna have to take dazed because it's like a neutral khaki color. Powdery as fuck, but I have more hope with this one. I already put concealer on the eyes to prime, by the way. That's nice, bitch. That is nice. The only problem I have with this palette is actually just the color story. I just don't think that it's a very practical palette when it comes to the matte shimmer ratio. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shimmers and three mattes, diva. Fuck out of here. I don't think it's personally that practical, but you know, it's not my brand. <laughs> It's not my fucking brand. It looks nice, and I feel like because I am lighter in complexion, it works for me. However, if you are deeper than me, is this even gonna show up on you? Like, dead ass. Like, is this gonna show up, or do you have to build it a gazillion times to even get it to this spot right here? Because there's no deepening shades. 
that are matte. It doesn't even make sense to me. This one has one, you know, the mini has one, a darker one here and I'll use that. But like, it's not on the main palette. So, riddle me that. Packing it on, packing it on. <gasps> nice. That's nice and pigmented. That is giving pigmentation. Ooh. It's kind of shitty that the, the shadows are actually very nice because I feel like the color story is what's off on this one, not the actual quality. So far, the powder quality that Catrice has has been very good. I'm impressed with their powders mostly. I'm gonna take shade sandstone, the one I originally swatched. It's a little chunky, as I was saying. It's a little gritty, but I think that if we do very slow motions, it will look lovely, you know, and it won't fall all over our face, so. Little tip, side note, side note, side note. When you have shades like this that are a little bit more on the gritty side, a little more chunky side, if you do not, one, wet your brush, like to use it, I like to use my fingers with these, so I just, I'm doing it this way. If you use brushes, this doesn't even matter for you, but if you use your finger, pat super slowly and in sections so that it doesn't fall off onto your face. I'm gonna get a little bit of fallout, but not that bad. I will say, I think that looks fucking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Sandstone, you fucking did that, bitch. Wow, I'm gonna take shade sand, which is more of a white shade. Maybe the inner corner maybe a little bit. Now I honestly, like, I genuinely wish that the colors were different, which I usually don't actually say a lot when it comes to like palettes I'm using. I'm always like, oh, the quality needs to be revamped. Overall, I'm impressed with the quality. What do y'all think? Ain't that kind of sickening? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera. I'm gonna come back to do mascara together. We have a new mascara. Don't have any eyeliner here. Either they didn't send me an eyeliner or they didn't have an eyeliner on the website because I literally bought everything that I could find that was available to buy on the site. So they might not have one, but I'll come back to do mascara lips because I have a lot of lip options and that'll be it. I'll give you my final thoughts on Miss Catrice. Okay, so I have both eyes on. What do we think? I put a little bit of the essence on my waterline. Other than that, that's everything is, of course, Miss Catrice. I'm impressed. Mind you, I had to combine both of the eyeshadow palettes to get this look, but I do think that once we got there, I'm impressed. Like, I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks nice. I did have fallout under my eyes. You know, I can only do my little trick so much. I think my eyes actually look very, very nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the Mascara. I actually have no eyeliner on just because I want to make sure I can see my lashes as best as I can. I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on before we start. This is the Drunken Diamonds Plumping Lip Balm. 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 From Catrice. It has like kind of glitter all over it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it smells so fucking good. A sweet like watermelon scent? What scent is this? Don't know. It's actually very pretty on the lip. Looks a little milky actually. Hold on. Let me wipe off my lip and do that again. There's a little bit of view into it, but not a lot. It's very sheer. It has a little bit of a milky tone, like has a little bit of a whiteness to it. I don't know about that, but it feels nice and it smells lovely. You guys, should I ask a boy to um, dinner on Valentine's or is that too much? I've hung out with him two times so far and I have a crush on him, but I don't know if it's like friend vibes. I have a really bad time differentiating like friendship with like dating. Like for me, I have a crush for sure, but I don't know if he has a crush on me and I feel like he thinks of me as like a friend. Cause I'm always like somehow friend zoning myself and I don't know how I get myself into this. Like, how do I not be in the friend zone? I don't fucking know. Do I just be a cunt? Like, do I just be a bitch? Is that how I get out of the friend zone? Like, make it make sense. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're gonna take the Catrice Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Power Hold Volume Mascara. It just sounded very enticing. Oh, I love this kind of one. My lashes are curled. I'm gonna see what this does. I'm very intrigued. Hopefully it gives us a little bit of a lift. It's separating really, really nice, you guys, so far. Not giving literally um, any volume whatsoever, but here we are. Power hold volume. <laughs> I will say, I don't, I'm not really seeing volume necessarily or length. However, the separation is nice. And honestly, it's not dropping that fast. For me, I feel like my mascara drops so, like literally it's immediate. Like my curl drops immediately, but this one's not dropping as quickly. It's still dropping. Don't get me wrong, it's still dropping, but it's not as horrible as others. Definitely like an okay mascara. It's not my favorite. I would actually prefer like wand wise even. The e.l.f. new mascara is a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. And that I would say is more like the vibe than this one is. Okie dokie, wiping off our little lip. Let's go in with our lip liner. We have these, you guys. So we have a couple of lip products. We have these like powerful lip balms, lip gloss, lip oil, liquid lip balm. They have a bunch of like good shit in here. I'm like very impressed. Hyaluron, almond oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, and the actual oil. And then the lip balm has hyaluron, vitamin E, shea butter, green tea, 
goji berry. Great ingredient deck. Honestly, I'm very impressed. And we have this Hawaiian Blossom Glow Lip Balm. They're very lip glom, glom. They're very lip balm heavy at Catrice, apparently. This is another lip balm. Um, and it gets a little bit of pigment to it. A very small amount, but it is quite beautiful. Does this like change with the pH? Is it one of those? <sighs> I do not want a ph -er right now. Please, like, don't, don't pH me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. But I will be trying the lip liner. We're taking our little lip liner. This is an understated chic. There were multiple shade options for this, which I was very excited about. These are, these are just like the, the fucking essence ones, you guys, like in the retractable pencil form, super creamy, non-sharpenable, which I don't love, but y'all must fucking like, I'll go to the same manufacturer. This got so much darker. You guys, it was a pH or I knew it. it. It was trying to get me. What's it called when, when like one lab makes it and they just give it to them and you like slap your name on it? Something name. Fuck, the name's escaping me. It kind of reminds me of that because I just feel like these are just so eerily similar. I'm like, did the same place make it? Private label. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come to me. Weirdly accurately similar. They're nice though. I will say they're nice. I wish they were sharpenable when it comes to like an actual pencil that like sharpens, but I do think that they are really nice. They glide on very well. What should we do? I feel like we should do the liquid lip balm first because I'm intrigued by this. This is in the shade Pe Pearly Peach. Pearly Heat. It has a lot of glitter on it. There's a lot of glitter on it. Jesus Christ. It's loaded with glitter, but it's nice. It feels, there's something to these. These little powerful, Liquid lip balms. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip oil too, just because I'm curious. These are heavier. <laughs> I'm more into like, not that. And that's the lip though. I mean, the lip looks stunned. Baby, it's giving gore, Gina. Okay, you guys, and that is it for today's video. Full face, I bought everything from Catrice I could fucking find on their website, and I feel like I got a good amount of product. Do we wanna do tops and bottoms of the video? Do we wanna do tops and bottoms? I think we do, I think we do. Let's do top two and bottom two of the video because I can definitely make that happen right now. Top two. This was the concealer, the 18 hour hydrating true skin. I cannot wait to use this with like a different powder and try it out in a different way that's not with like the powder that I came with, like the HD one. I just wanna use that again. I just don't feel like it looks good with that. However, I felt like it did look really nice. It was a nice medium coverage. It looked very hydrating under my eyes. You guys saw it did look nice. It, did, it wasn't creasing super fast either. It was a win for me. Like it really was a win for me. I'm excited to continue to try it and use it in a different format and different setting. Also like the shade is not my favorite, but the formulation was nice. So if you find a shade that you do like, I think you guys really enjoy it. For real. And the foundation, of course. The foundation and concealer kind of go hand in hand, but those are my favorites for sure. Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush. This one, it truly is like an amazing dupe for the NARS orgasm. Like I'm actually kind of shocked. I'm very impressed by it. It's a baked formulation and it's super thin and lightweight, but it packs a gorgeous punch. Like it's not too much. Same with the highlighter. Like the powders were my top of the video for sure. Like they kind of slayed me down. My bottom two of the video. These guys right here. The HD Baking and Setting Loose Powder. You guys saw what it looked like on my nose. It was just, the way it just made me so splotchy, dry looking, and truly just not my vibe. I also just don't really like HD powders in general. If you guys like HD powders, if you guys enjoy that like Makeup Forever white silica powder, I think you guys will like this as more of a dupe. Uh, Cause this could be a really great alternative for you guys. Cause it smelled the same, it looked the same. Like I overall thought it was like a literal dupe of the Makeup Forever one. I'm just not into them. It's not my vibe, I don't really like them. I like regular powder more, aluminum, silica. <laughs> yeah, it's just not my vibe. Not my energy, not my consistency. If you guys like HD powder, I think you guys should check it out. And then this guy, I just couldn't get it to work. I cannot get this to work. The Super Glue Brow Styling Gel, what is going on with this? I don't understand this product. When I put it on, it gets like, it was like good in the beginning. I was like, oh, this is so strong, it's so fucking cool. And then you keep applying it and you like keep like trying to work with it to make it like go into your thing. But once it dries down, it becomes like super gunky and peels off your brow. So like completely comes off. So I don't know about this one. Unless you're literally using it as like a last stitch, like set your brow in place, I can see it working, but definitely not like the lamination, like anything along those lines. If you're looking for that kind of thing, it's not gonna be that. It's just not. If you guys like it and use it, and please tell me how you use it, that you enjoy it. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Had so much fun making it. I love doing videos like this. This little like, you know, bought everything from, it's just kind of like a way of, you know, testing a full face of products that you guys might like. If there's any other brands out there that you guys want me to try out like a full face of, please let me know in the comments. Like I can definitely buy everything, see what's like worth the coin. You know what I was kind of thinking about doing and I wanted to try it with? Hard candy. I kind of want to do it with hard candy because I feel like they're getting a resurgence. 
a resurgence into their like little life, you know? But let me know if you guys want to see another one of these. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Anyway, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. It's daytime. Yo, it's daytime. I never film in the day. What year is it? Yeah. Hang on. My hair is acting feral. I have a haircut tomorrow. Don't judge me. Mmm, fuck. <laughs> period, period, period. Period. Period, period, period.